Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm John. This is many a true nerd. Welcome to Celeste, part of my ongoing effort during January and February, which tends to be a little bit quieter when it comes to the new releases, to catch up on all the interesting stuff that showed up in 2018 that I just didn't have time to look at. And this one's a bit of a surprise to me. Like, this one just totally passed me by during the year. I can't even remember when this came out. But then when various people's Game of the Year list came out at the end of the year, this featured on a surprisingly large number of them. So... Colour me interested, and, very, very bloody conveniently indeed, right now, if you have an Xbox and you have games with gold, Celeste is actually 100% free. So, good time to give it a look -see, I'd say. Also, bonus points to this game, that you can apparently set the game to Canadian English, which I assume is just normal English, but a lot more polite. And here we are. I should also mention, by the way, because this game completely passed me by, I've no idea what sort of game it is. Just looking at it now... I'm going to assume it's a side-on platformer, and there was a bit of narration at the beginning. Madeline, just breathe, you can do it, etc. So I'm guessing, yeah, narrative-focused platforming sort of thing. And I'm supposed to be going right. Screw your rules, I'm going left! Oh, I'm allowed to! Right, so I guess I know how I got to this here mountain or whatever. I drove in a car, marvellous! Can you keep going left and I just end the game that way? No, boo, there's not an unconventional ending just by continuing to go left. Ooh, but I can jump on my own car and probably trash it. That's nice. Right, well, you know what? The nice thing about platformers is you can generally get to grips with them pretty quickly. Keep going right, keep going up, avoid holes in the ground. Job flipping done. So, jumpity jump, and jump over, and jumpity jump some more. Boom, I'm... Oh, I know what you're up to. No, no, no. This ain't my first rodeo. I can do this nonsense. And here we go. I want to also be climbing. Okay, climb up, no problem at all, and then jump and climb. Okay, so I'm, yeah, scaling things as well, and as I understand it, that's what this game is about. You're, like, supposed to be climbing a mountain. So let's just keep going up. And Oh, hello! You already live on the mountain, do you? Excuse me, can I have, like, more climbing gear or something? So yes, indeed, is this the mountain trail? You're almost there, it's just across the bridge. Marvellous! Well, that's exactly where I want to go for some reason. But apparently Celeste Mountain is a strange place. You might see things. You ain't ready to- Oh, is this actually a horror game? Is this going to be a nightmarish horror thing? Right, marvellous. I'm not always good with those. They make me nervous. And over the bridge we go, which is already trying to kill me, so we're off to a good start here. Thankfully, it's one of those- Oh! Okay. Slight problem. Bird, could you help me, please? I need to dash. Ooh! Okay, I've got a mid-air dash. Well, that's bloody convenient. And we're we going up to the title screen right now. No, we're just going up to motivational advice. All right, into the Forsaken City. I will say this game's not exactly giving the best impression of Canada. It's a lovely place. There's no Forsaken Cities there. So over here, grabby grab, climby climb, and jump and hope, and just about make it. All right, fine. Everything's okay so far. I assume this is where I'm supposed to be going. And what's this? Ooh, springy thing, except springy thing. Okay, and no. Okay. So this is one of those, oh, is this one of those hardcore, you actually have to be good at the game things? Oh, that's a concern. Right, now can I get up to, yes I can, now can I, I can't cling to ceilings. Okay, but from here, can I actually jump across to, no, I can't jump across to there either. Right, what's the solution here then? Probably just to do, yeah, the dash. Okay, so bouncy bounce, dash, and then cling. But okay, having done the clinging, where do I go now? Or do I just basically go boing and then up? Definitely not like that, though. Do I just have to go boing, then dash, and then... Okay, this is going to take some practice, I see. Okay, bounce and through, and that just clears that, and then we can start climbing. Okay, nothing too major so far. Up to the top, jump over, up to the top. That all looks manageable. And, ah, do you automatically cling to something if you're on the side of it? Or, ah, you can do wall jumps. Okay, wall jumping is a thing. So through, over, and then, okay, careful. And, you know what, that's a bit on the dangerous side, really. Can I just get that and then go, whoop? Yes, I can. Apparently, I'm amazing at everything. Spot on. Now, slight concern here, just get over there, over here, can I go, oh, okay, right, coggy thing just flings you over, gotcha, so gotta be ready to jump, oh, okay, gotta be really ready to jump.
Okay, so far so manageable. And this thing's going to presumably fling me... Oh, hang on, there's... Oh, multiple ways to go. Right, it's a little bit on the open side. This is going to fling me up, presumably, right? Yep, okay. But... Okay, and then over to... Oh, if I got my angle about right, I might be able to cling to that one over there. Hang on, and go, go, and... Oh, okay, I can go much further than I thought I could. Possibly need to get the jump right at the summit. Come on, we can do this. Okay, clinging onto the side here. Except clinging onto the side, I've already used my jump. So, I can't... Oh, and you can only cling on for so long, I'm guessing. Right, okay, if I get the timings just about right... Okay, I'm going to try the other way, actually. Let's just try the other way. That looks better. Because this, this is just a case of me doing some, like, side hopping. And then boosting upwards. And then just... Ah, sliding. Oh! Okay, you needed to boost at the end. Okay, this is just basically the place where... Actually, can I just climb up here? I might be able... Wait, what's the point of this? I don't know what the point of that is. Okay, this is all fine. All I need to do is just boost at the end. So, go to here... And then when we get to the end here, boop, I boosted too soon. There we go. Got it. That's an extra strawberry for me. And sadly, we're straight back to this thing. Okay, I'm just going to go over here. Because over here, I can actually have myself a little bit of a stopping off point. Because that up there is just the... That's just where the strawberry is. Do I need every strawberry? I feel like I don't need every strawberry. I think I'm going to be just fine here. So jump up here, and then boost, and then clamber up, and you know what? I'm fine leaving one strawberry behind. I don't know what that thing is, by the way. I'm going to try and get that thing if I can. What's this over here, by the way? That is... Okay, more shiny things. I like shiny things. Now, can I just climb up the top of this screen, by the way? No! Well, I can. I'm not really sure where I'm going, to be honest, but I can. Okay. I need to jump, and then boost over, and then cling, but then how do I get no, I can't. If I actually boost over to that, then there's no way for me to survive. Okay, let's have a little loopsy at this. So just around here. Hmm. Okay. How are we going to be doing this then? Okay, so now I get to here. Oh, hang on. When does my blue thing recharge? Because I did a jump. If you do a jump and then you do a grip, does that actually recharge your... Uh... That does not recharge that. So why did I get... Oh... That's what the jewels do. The jewels are jump recharges. They're not collectibles. They're not like the strawberries. Okay. I see what we're doing here. And over that big pit with the aid of the double jump. Hello. Who are you? Well, nothing much from him. He just wants to say hello. I wonder if he can actually do magic jumping. Hey, I can do magic jumping. Can you do that? Because I'm pretty awesome. Right, back to this room. Clamber up. And we've got ourselves... We've got, ooh. Extremely unhelpful bounce pads. Okay. Avoid bounce pads on occasion. And oh, bloody hell. Right. Yeah. It's one of those games where you have to do everything flipping perfectly. Basically, I want to be the mountaineer. And that worries me a little bit because I'm not always great at this sort of thing. Luckily, I can edit out the 10 million failures. So I look like I'm actually half competent, which is great. And actually, ooh. Do I want to try and go over the top here? Ah! What I might want to do is... Okay, one, I want to not jump on that thing. And again, with not jumping on that thing. I might want to do a single jump, and then a grip. Jump over the top, and then... Oh! Okay, yeah, I see what we need to do here. It's not always immediately obvious. It's not just like, jump, boost, boost again. Get over to here, jump, then jump again, and strawberry! Hooray for me. Now, does this get me back down to... Yeah, this gets me back down to Theo. Hello, Theo! I was just awesome. Oh, actually, when you speak to him again, having come through the second way, you're a lot more chatty. Previously, you didn't really want to speak to him. Okay, Madeline, are you by any chance willing to tell me why you want to climb a mountain? Well, still nothing much from that guy, so... Yeah, all we know is this is some form of terrifying abandoned nightmare city, which is fine. It's a video game. I kind of assumed that would be the case. So jump over and then just grab that. And now all I need to do is jump over that. No, jump over there. And now jump back over to here and then go. And we're through. Okay, I'm starting to get to grips with the basics here. Marvelous. Okay, so this one's not too bad. Drop down, then drop down over there, and then just drop down over here. Hop over here, don't even need to use my boost. 
So now probably I need to go boost, grab that, and then grab that, boost up. Yeah, there we go. Okay, I'm starting to get this now. Oh, and now we're into the springy things combined with spikes. Oh, that's going to be great. Okay, start jumping early on those things and then avoid getting smashed. And okay, the arrow says up. Okay, possibly just need to go over to... That was an amazing failure right there. And then go, and then go up here, and just grab that. And it's not just a watch, it's a symbol. It's also a mechanism for telling the time. Oh, I'd be so good at marketing watches. Right, now what do you want me to do here? Presumably just over the top, and then, oh, okay, the spikes on the bottom there. Okay, does that mean that bottom bump is actually just a trap and it actually hurts more than it helps and need to boost earlier there? Right over the top and far away and oh, there we go. That worked out surprisingly well. Oh, does hitting a bumper reset your, your boost? I'm guessing it does therefore. Right, further and further up and okay, that looks like an unfriendly ice block. What are you going to do? Oh, you just basically fall out of the sky. Gotcha. Are you coming back at this point? No. Right, I guess I should probably just drop off to make you... There you go, now you're back. Right, so go, 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 clingy cling, and then... Oh! Okay, I pretty much had that, I just fluffed it. This is a very easy room, this should not be causing problems. There we go, nice and easy. So, ice blocks basically... Well, hang on. That ice block doesn't have a face. Are you going to... No, you're totally going to... Oh, and the bloody spikes there. Right, you're totally going to fall somewhere. Which way are you going to fall? You're going to fall down at this point. Okay. So now I can just go boost and grab. But the question now is... Oh, hang on. If I get my... Oh. Ah, but I've used up my boost there. Okay. Hang on. Could I avoid using up my, my boost? Because, okay, I need to use my boost here. I get my boost back here. But I kind of need to actually have my boost in order to... Yeah, where do I reset my boost in that case? Because I can go over here... And that's fine. And then I can go over here and I can grab this. And that's all fine as well. And... Uh, no. Okay, hang on. Have a think about this. Actually, can I just skip that one over there and not actually boost that at all? If I just basically... Yeah, if I just nail the jump from the top to the far side, I might just be able to get this... Yeah, there we go. And then up here, job for... Oh, blimey. I forgot that those collapse. Well, I did it. Right. Be aware, some things are kind of false friends. And this is going to attempt to smash me into some ice. Oh, that's good. I'm looking forward to being smashed into some ice. Right, okay. Get onto here. And then go. And then go. And then, oh, blimey. Okay, I don't know why I want the strawberry. I don't know what the strawberries even do. Maybe don't bother with the strawberries. Okay, go. And then round to here. And then up. Nice and simple if we don't bother with the strawberry. Excellent. Now this one goes over to here. And then... Okay, that was surprisingly simple. But should I try and get the strawberry? Should I try and get the strawberry at this point? And go. Okay. I've got a strawberry. Yes, and I want to have the... Ah, you've got to land the strawberry. I see it follows you around until you touch the ground. Only then is it yours. Okay. I see what we're doing here, and then up, and then up, right, and then back down again over to here, and then over to here, and then, whoop, okay, that, that was not where I wanted to go. Okay, from the strawberry, do I need to use a boost to get to the strawberry? That's the thing. Can I get to the strawberry without boosting? So I can get up here, and then I can just drop down. Then, I don't know, hang on, with, with just a standard jump over... Actually, no. From over here, I'd want to just, yeah, get the strawberry right now. Ah, but then I've boosted. Okay, and then... Okay, at this point, I'm going to die. What I need to do is get over to, yeah, the far side of this thing. If I can just get over to the far side of the movie block without actually using up my boost... Oh, well, that was a terrible idea. Yeah, if I can just get over to the far side of the movie block without boosting, then that would work. Okay, hang on. Can I just do that from... Okay, yeah, because this is fine, but now now I'm doomed. Unless I grab it... Oh, hang on. If I were to grab it then... No, grabbing it and then riding it back wouldn't work, because then I'd just be stuck on the far side as well. I need to be faster. Okay, go, and then go! Okay, I need to be able to grab it. If I could grab it on the way back, that'd work. Right, go, drop, and then go! Yes! 
Okay, and now, now I've got this, and boom! I am the best at Celeste. Not sure what it's about, but I'm the best at it. Oh, yeah, sure, just put me in an invisible room where I'm going to die, whatever. Okay, so, grab this, and then, presumably just let it fling me, right? And then, okay, should have let it fling me more. I presume you need to, yeah, just let this thing fling me, or possibly if I just go up... No, that's not going to be enough. Okay, and momentum! Okay, I didn't momentum enough. And momentum! Yes! That's what I need to use, momentum. Right, and now... That's going to fling me over to... Okay, same thing again. And go! And then go... Oh, blimey. Okay, I've got the basics here. Got the basics here. And go, and go, and climby, climby, climb, and get over here. And now, wait. Where's the way out of this room? I don't know where the way out of this room is. So I've got the strawberry, that's, that's fine, but there's no escape from this room. Oh, this doesn't feel good. Ah, I just need to go up here. Okay, fine, there was another way out of that room. Okay, go, go, and then, no, totally don't do that. Instead, how about go, go, grippy grip, and then go, that gets you up to here. Okay, that's all fine, and then, okay, from here, I've got... Hmm, okay, if I just jump over to here, I can get my boost back right there. And then I just need to drop down nice and careful over here. And then, oh, blimey. Okay, what I need to do is, yeah, drop down to the bottom, boost over to the wall, and then climb up fast enough to get up to that second platform. But blimey heck, you need to do all of this in one go. So that's fun. Okay, go ahead. Oh, okay, that almost went wrong. Okay, now drop down. Okay, now drop down. And now go. No! That was exactly not the right moment. Okay, and go. And clambery, clambery, clamber. And we're good. And clambery, clamber, clamber. I am very good at climbing. I can see why I want to climb a mountain. I'm just super good at it. Right. Clambery uppy. And then over to... Okay, can I make that jump if I'm right at the top? I might be able to make that jump if I'm like right at the top here. And go. And then go over here. And then go over here and made it over here. Okay, that one's not so bad. And then jumpy jumpy, because wall jumps are apparently a thing. Don't forget that, that's quite useful. Okay, next up, either up or right. Well, I'm supposed to be climbing a mountain, I'm in a city right now, so up feels like a good sort of a thing. And go, and then clambery, clambery, and reset there. Okay, then over the top, you're not going anywhere, are you? No, okay, so there's no up in the end, so up. Okay, this is fine. This is this is all fine. And when I say this is all fine, oh, okay. If I oh, does that screw me over? Does that totally screw me over if I do that and then up here and then up here, clamber? Okay. Do I need to not go over the top? Because if I do, then that screws me up and it means I can't get onto that spot there. But then again, I think I'm gonna need. That guy to... Oh, blimey heck. Right, it's starting to break my brain. Yeah, I can get to here. That's fine. But then there's no chance I can get over from that point. If that big block fell down, and if I could get on top of it, I could do a wall jump off the big block. And then as long as I had a boost spare afterwards, I might be able to do that. Don't... Okay, yeah, there we go. And now over to here. And now go! Yes! Okay, that was the solution. Now, oh, it's more flinging. Oh, I love flinging. Go! And, oh, you need to boost at the end. Got it. Okay. Right. Okay. Just be ready to boost at the end because the momentum's not quite enough. And go. And go. And I got my timing totally wrong. Right. The timing's a bit tight on the momentum jumps. And go. And go. And then cling. And then, oh. No need to. Oh, hang on. No, I got it. I 100% got it. Just need to remember, yeah, you can actually climb walls because because you're a mountaineer. That's that's kind of the, the deal, actually. And up we go. Right, and this bit's... Oh, hang on. Can I just boost over? Yes, then it's just boosting. Right, that's just testing it. Ooh. There's the world's biggest flipping tombstone here. This memorial dedicated to all those who perished on the climb. What about people who, like, tried to do the climb and are still doing the climb but have died about 28 million times regardless? Like, do I get my name on there once? Not at all? All of the times? Well, apparently I've decided to sit here and have a nice little camp regardless. Oh, my bird friend who taught me how to teleport shown up. I like him. And that there was the first chapter. 
And I've collected six strawberries for only 66 deaths. So I'm going to say one strawberry per 11 deaths is an excellent ratio because strawberries are delicious. Strawberries will impress your friends, but that's about it. Only collect them if you really want to. Fine, so that's literally just for score chasing. Got it. Also, why is my fire suddenly blue? That's not a thing fire does. Okay, it does, but like only when it's like hotter than a campfire is supposed to be. Also, now there's now there's just a meteorite storm. And we're apparently going into a creepy ass castle right now. Possibly containing ghosts. Is that what these are? Are they ghosts? They might be ghosts. Okay, there's little pink blocks here. Not sure what they do. And also there's light coming from below. Right. And there's also... What's, what's going on here? I don't know. If I boost into you, does that do anything? Right, there's just weird, creepy blocks here. Okay. Continue having a bit of an explore around. And what is going on? Okay, are these like holes in reality or something? Why am I able to... Alright, you know what? I'm just going to go with it until I figure out what the heck's going on here. Because so far there doesn't seem to be much in the way of actual puzzles or anything going on here. Except, oh, hello! Are you a creepy skeleton? Can you help me, please? Ah, that's not a skeleton. That's a viewfinder. So I get to see what's up ahead. And the answer is... Alright, weird mirror... And that's all I can see. I can just see down, except... Okay. There's no way to get down. Oh, I went down to the bottom of one of the rooms and I found what looks distinctly like a puzzle here. Okay, so go over here and then jump over the top and then go and then... Okay. I see what we need to do here. So you just need to jump and then boost up to the wall. Jump over. Grab the first gem. That gives you another jump. That gets you over to... Uh, the wall, where at that point you can... Hmm. At that point, what can you do? At that point, maybe you grip onto the wall again, but then you jump over the top and then you boost as high as you can to... Yeah, okay. That's all manageable. Assuming I can just nail this jump here at the beginning. Just go over the top and then go. There we go. And then just go over the top and then jump over the top and then boost it. Oh! you totally had that if you just hadn't done that at a stupid angle. Right, there we go. Got it that time. Right, so we're definitely into some form of area that feels like a Celeste level at this point. So that's nice. So, okay. What do you need me to do this time? Go over here and then drop down over here. Jump over here. Fine. So it's easy to get over there. That's all A-OK. -okay. And then what I really need to do is just hop over the top. And then, yeah, make it over those spikes without hitting them on a standard jump if I can. Actually, no, don't do that. And also, don't boost into the spikes either. But just boost over the top and then slide down, wall jump into the second one. That's okay. In fact, yeah, this is the easiest way right here. So go and then... Oh, wait, wait. Okay, how did you mess that up that badly? And also, you don't even need to bother with the bit of the front. You can just actually get over here. So yeah, there's little shortcuts for speedrunners, which is kind of cool. And then, yeah, I think the easiest way to do this is actually just to climb onto here. And then go over to here. And then just go over to... Just get on top of the block, John. This isn't hard. You're failing the easiest bit. There we go. That's more flipping like it. Right, through we go. Ah, now I've made it to the magic... I don't trust my reflection. Not one bit. Right, so now there's an evil Madeline in the mirror. Oh, do I have a flipping boss? Right. And... What? And now... Okay. And I, oh! Now, I can walk straight through that bit. Right, so maybe she's not actually that evil. Maybe she's a bit on the helpful side. So, is this any more use? Yeah, I see there's a strawberry hidden way down there. And there's a broken mirror. Right, so when she appears, she turns those into colourful bits. If I actually smash into... No, I cannot smash the mirror. Fine, go back through this area, because then I'm actually, yes, yeah, skipping back... Oh, oh, hello. Right. So, now, these things are moving. Can I still be on top of them? 
Yes, I can still be on top of them. And I can boost through them as well. Oh, now all of them are doing this. Is... Is that a good thing? I'm not convinced that's a good thing. Okay, what if I just try and boost through? Ah! It extends your boost as far as it needs to be extended. Okay, now I'm pretty sure I'm allowed to just drop down here. Yeah, there's more over here. And then I went... Oh, this lets me get further down. So this is further down than I've ever been before. Okay. And now... Right. I'm guessing this is a real platform. And now this is a real platform, yeah? Is that what we're doing? Okay. Good. And then... Oh, blimey. Okay. Um, Where's the... Okay. And then go. And then go. And now I've picked up a... Right. A cassette. All right. And we're... We're also going back over here. Was... Was this supposed to be where I was? Okay, now if I just go over here. Hang hang on here, hang on. And then boost, and... Okay, now I can't get through that anymore because I can't actually fit. Fine, so that must be all there is over here. In which case... No, don't go back over there. Cel no, you're not Celeste. Celeste is the mountain, you're Madeline. Right, go the other way from the bottom. Because there was another room in this direction. Right, so who the heck is Shadow Madeline? In that case. Um, and what the heck am I supposed to in here? Okay, well, I can boost up here. Fine, I can get a decent, like, jump off that. But that's not going to get me anywhere at all. Hmm. Okay. If I just do, yeah, the longest jump I can. That doesn't get me even remotely close to any of this. And I can't get up to... No, I definitely can't get up to clinging onto the wall without using my boosts. Because otherwise I'd say, okay, just clamber up to the top. And then we're, we're golden. Um, That's the highest I can get there. Okay, and then... Because if I could just get up to the very top right of the room, the very top point, I might be able to wall jump over to the top of that platform. But... And... No, that's not going to fly at all. I just don't have enough height on the jump. And if I could just... Okay, let's actually see if I'm approaching this from the wrong angle here. Alright, let's just get up to the top here. And when I say get up to the top here, remember... Yeah, using the boost. Very bloody useful. So over here now at this point. No, no, no. Not over there. Over Celeste. No, Madeline. Behave. Through here. Okay. Now I can climb up this room that's now active nice and easy. That's all nice and fine. Now up to here. Back over to... Ah! This area is now open and it wasn't a minute ago. And how the heck can you possibly get that strawberry? I mean, I could walk from above... But then that would be burning my boost so I couldn't... You know what? It's fine. Let's not worry about it. This feels like a puzzle room. So, 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 so. What are we doing here? That's a strawberry. I'm doing all of this for... Screw the strawberries straight through. Actually, hang on. Is that a... Is that a hole down there? It is! That's a much easier strawberry to help myself to. And uh-oh. Uh-oh. Um... I appear to be trapped in a... No, I found a way out. We're good. Right, straight through that room I was in before. So I can clamber up here. Fine. Now, if I just do a boost through here, does that get me... No, it doesn't quite get me far enough to do a double boost. Unless, if I actually save my boost for the last possible minute... No. Okay, does that refresh my boost by any chance when I'm actually passing through that thing? And yes, yes it does. Okay. Except, oh. This is also just a strawberry room. So what I can do here is, yeah, quadruple boost. So just jump, boost, boost, and then, no, 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 and then, oh! I actually kind of almost had it there. I thought I'd fluffed it, but actually it was fine. So go, boost, boost, and then down, and then boost, and then boost, and back out again. Strawberry for me. Right, so where's the progress? Because right now I'm doing a lot of strawberry hunting, which is fine, but where's the actual, like, progressy bits? Right, so this room to the left of that cavern, that brings me back to... Yeah, that's the room that leads down to the areas I've already been into. Okay, and then if I just actually clamber onto this thing and clamber up... Where does this go again? This brings me back to... Ah! This is where I first fell down. But now if I go through here and back to... Well, I'm not outside. Can I boost through... Okay, I can't get through that. So, I think that is the only way to go. Hang on. Madeline, where do you want me to go exactly? Oh, hang on. 
there's more over here. Right, right back at the beginning. Now go up. So this is an area I can't have been to before because last time this area was closed. Okay, this feels good. Aside from the fact that's just more bloody strawberries. Right, go, go, clamber, clamber. And then just more over here and then go and then, oh, yep. Yeah, just pulled that off there. My instincts did not let me down. Ah, but hang on. If I go up here, I can clearly see the game is vaguely indicating, hey, you want to go up this way. So in which case, how would I go up this way? If I were to, like, walk through... Oh. If I were to walk through the very top over here, like... Oh, no, 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 not like that. Up through here, climb right up to the top. But then if I still had a boost at the top... Hmm... Okay, if I get the angle just right, yeah, that's the thing. It's the angle needs to be spot on. Because it's not just horizontals and verticals. Any form of weird diagonal is cool as well. Uh, but I need to get the angle just right. Ah, or is it just 45 degrees? Can I actually do... No, I think it's just 45 degrees. Okay, so in which case, from about here, then we just need to get the 45 degree... Up and nice. Okay, got it. And now, just boost up, clamber. Okay, now, now we're in somewhere presumably important. Except, oh, blimey heck. Now, if I try and, okay, if you try and do a mega boost into a solid object, you die. So, this is just teaching you, hey, you know that diagonals are a thing, right? Diagonals are great. So now I can just go through here, and then go through here. Right, and then downwards. No, no, down, down. Not like that. That was not down diagonal. Right, now this time. Yeah, straight across. Okay, so that's just teaching me about diagonals of mega boosting. Oh, hello. Right. Apparently, someone knows my name, and that's presumably Evil Madeline. Right, hello, Evil Madeline. Are you me? Yes, yeah, she's definitely you, except she's got red glowing eyes, so I would not trust her. And I'm a part of you. Okay, why would part of me look so creepy? And this is just what I look like, okay? <laughs> Deal with it. You know what? I like evil Madeline. I know it sounds crazy, but I need to climb this mountain. But why? You're many things, darling, but you're not a mountain climber. I really am. I can, like, cling to walls, uh, climb straight up sheer cliffs. I can literally teleport. I'm possibly the most naturally gifted mountain climber that's ever lived. Ah, uh, yes, and Madeline's starting to get into the real questions here. Which part of me is this? The weak part or the lazy part? I'm the pragmatic part. I'm trying to be diplomatic here. Ooh, she got to actually lean outside of her little portrait box. That's a fun trick. Now, what exactly is she doing by the... Oh! Did she just attack me? Is... Is that what she... Oh, blimey! Okay. Is she... Yeah, okay. So now I'm being hunted. Right. Time limits are apparently a thing at this point. So go. Go. And clamber. Right. Okay. So we've got to be careful here. At this point, I'm being hunted by myself. My own sense of, like, self out or whatever and go over here luckily i've got oh blimey heck okay so now time limits time limits are things uh luckily i've actually started to get to grips with this game at this point so i can for the most part go pretty quickly so hang on what's that what's that shield symbol over there for i don't know and then just go over here go over here go over here and what does that do ah that lowers a thing so that lowers a corresponding block, a C. So we need to get that, get back up, and then use that to get out of here. So go, and yeah, just boost over here. We need to get going as fast as we can. And I'm not actually on a time limit. I'm just needing to avoid her. I mean, she is a physical presence on the map. So I need to actually let her, like, jump over me or whatever. In order that I can actually... Okay, so where does she go next? And then... Ah, you see. I can actually work around her. And then just over here. Over here. Up. Okay, that's actually kind of more cool than that actual time limit. Also, what does this thing do? Do I need to hit... Do I need to hit all of those? Oh, bloody hell. Right, okay. Now straight up. Okay, what's the right order to do this in? Because if I just jump up here, then I might be able to... Okay, and then... Through here, and that... Oh, that doesn't quite get me into the right position. 
And then go over to here. And then... Whoop! Okay, so she comes in low on that side. Right, I just need to practice getting that one at the top. Because right now I'm not quite in the right spot for that one. I need to be, like, right at the apex of my jump. I'm still not in the right spot for that one. Hang on, why, why not? Why is that a problem? Do I need to be right at the corner so I'm in it for longer? Yeah, possibly need to be right at the bottom right corner. That way I'm in it for the longest period of time. No, I'm still not getting it. What's the trick I'm missing here? Ah, I get to boost again afterwards. That's the trick. Right, okay. And then, then I can just go up this way. And then, ah, then you've got to go off to one side. Okay, I see what the trick is here. Well, partially anyway. So if I just go up here, then I can just do a not boosted. And then, okay, I need to get that right here. Go, and then get this, but then don't hit the spikes. What's the angle to actually, if I boost through here, and then not to actually get that, and then not get hit on the way back? Okay, and then, boom. And then, okay, and then boost, boost, and then down. All right, and then down, and then, oh, no, 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 don't fluff it. Right, I panicked and fluffed at the last minute. But now I've got the principle down, okay? Now I've got the principle down. So now it shouldn't be too bad. And then round here, okay, and then round here, okay, round here. Balling hat. There we go, got it this time. Oh, now, now my self-doubt is multiplying. Right, well, that's, that's no good at all. Right, and then through here, and then through and up and... Oh, she can do the warps too. Has she always been able to do the warps? That worries me. Okay, this area is bigger. This area is big. Right. What's the right way to go here? Can I get up to the top in any way if I was just to... Blah, possibly. Actually, that might be true. Hang on. Can I get up to the top? If I boost straight through there and then just straight through here, can I just get up to the... Yeah, I can get up to the top this way. Nice. So that's just a bonus little uh, strawberry room. Okay. That wasn't actually part of it, but I still get the strawberry regardless. So straight through here and then through the top and then through the... Okay. And then get that and go. Okay. The problem is getting past them. So I can get to the end there, right, yes, fine, then over to the top there, and then over to, I forgot there were spikes, ah, made it through that time, okay, it wasn't actually that difficult, just dodged slightly out the way, right, okay, this time, go, and then they're all warping through here, okay, just take a second here, take a second, so through here, over the top, and then over the top, over... Yeah, then it's just a straight-up warp. Actually, this doesn't feel like this one's that tricky at all. I don't know why I'm messing this one up so much. And then... I forget you don't have a double jump if you don't jump off the edges. Because I've been playing too much Smash Brothers recently. Right, down, 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 down. And then, okay. This is fine. I can do this. It's just a question of doing literally everything perfectly on the first attempt. All right? And then through here... And then down over here. And then through at that angle. And then... Oh, balls. That was not the right way to go, was it? Hang on. Am I supposed to be going up or down? I think up is just for a strawberry at the end there. But this is fine. So you just need to slowly start nailing it every time. First time. Okay, I need to do slide fast down that wall. And then once I'm done sliding down that wall, do a wall jump off. Okay. This is fine. I can do this. Okay, go, go, and then, no, now I'm going to die. Well, maybe I'm going to, yes, I'm definitely going to die if you run into the spikes, mind. Okay, I know where I need to go now, and the answer is, no, 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 careful, bloody hell. Yeah, go up this way, and then drop through here, and then there's quite a tricky bit, which is, go, go, go. Oh, nailed it, nailed it. Oh, bloody hell, you're kidding me. No, oh, diagonals, diagonals and walls. Okay, this is the point where the game starts to get cocky insane. Okay, back to this bit. Back to this bit. Okay, I just need to get this bit and go down. Okay, now get this bit. Okay, and now go through here. Okay, and now through here and drop down to the bottom. And Oh, bloody hell, where am I going? Where am I going? Where am I going? Let me into another room, please. Let me into another room. Where the heck am I going now? Are they still... They're still following me. They're still following me. Oh, are they gone? I outran myself out. I am the best. They're going to be back, aren't they? Yeah, they're going to be back. Outrunning yourself doubts not that easy. Or maybe it is. Maybe I'm very good at dealing with my own self-doubts. 
And so, boing, 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 boing. And, all right, it all seems to have gone a little bit on the peaceful side, actually. As it turns out, I am amazing. And, oh, yeah, that'll be it. That'll be the end. I've found the information kiosk. All my troubles are at an end. Has my self-doubt just called me up to mock me? No. Someone else has. Hello, who are you? Are you calling from a payphone? Yeah. No, wait. You called me. What are you talking about? Right, yeah, we were warned the mountain gets a bit screwy. I'm in trouble. I'm being chased by someone. I don't really understand what's going on. I know I'm in danger. I can feel it. Madeline, you only call when you're panicking in the middle of the night. You don't have to make up some ridiculous story just to get my attention. I'm not making it up, says Madeline. Okay, who am I speaking to? I'm climbing Celeste Mountain. I found an old mirror. It shattered and a part of me escaped and... Okay, fine. Yes, I'm probably dreaming. Uh-oh. Evil Madeline's back. And she's wondering why we're climbing the mountain too. It's time to give up and go home. And then she... Oh! Okay! I just got eaten by a giant seven-eyed monster. Except, oh. Hang on. Now I'm back by the original memorial. Hang on. Hang the flip on here. What's going on with the... Oh, there's a guy up there now. That's Theo. I ran into him earlier. Okay. Can I get up to him? Hang on. Just, just, yeah, zoom up here. Clambery, clambery, climb. Right, so now the castle's a lot less magical. So, that was a dream, but, like, the weird stuff I saw and the teleporting isn't a dream. Okay, this is all very odd. Oh, and me and Theo took a selfie together. That's adorable. And yeah, this time, I can just walk straight through the ruins and there's nothing but the very pleasant score playing. So now I'm definitely awake... Am I going to call the same person again? And, oh, she looks a bit like me. I'm guessing that's my mom. Yes, yes it is. So who was I calling last time? What a nice surprise. Uh, how's your trip? Okay, so I am definitely on a real mountain because my mother's acknowledged it. But occasionally I have dreams of being hunted by my own sense of self-doubt. Ah, apparently I do occasionally have, yeah, the odd problem with anxiety or whatever. Focus on your breathing, honey. I'm here. What's going on? My mother's very worried about me. Alright. So, possibly I'm here because I felt that would be a good way of like, completing a challenge. It would be a good thing for my mental health or something. Maybe that's true. Maybe that's not. I am having nightmares about being chased by myself, which is probably not a good sign. And now, we're at this little... Mountain resort of... Oh, it's an evil mountain resort. I hate evil mountain resorts. They're the worst kind. Right. So just probably avoid the evil red mountain goo that is apparently sort of sentient. Oh, marvellous. Okay, just wait for the right opportunity and go. Right. Straight through. Watch out for mountain goo. Ooh. There's a key up there. There's totally... Hang on. Hang on. Can I get up here? Okay, I can get up here. And I can get up here. And then just straight over the top. And got myself a key. Spot on. And with the key, open up the door. Why do I get the feeling this is not going to be the nicest hotel in the... No. No, it's one of those blatantly evil hotels. I see. So, what's going on here? A very old and dusty guest book. Many of the pages are damaged or missing. The comments, however, are glowing. We'll never forget our time here. I've never felt more at peace. <laughs> All right, fine. Ring for service. What is it going to be? Oh, yeah, it's an evil hotel. Oh, never mind. It actually seems not that evil at all. Welcome. May I help you? I'm not convinced that you're not evil. I mean, you might be a ghost, but then ghosts aren't fundamentally evil. It might be the ghost of a really nice person. And there's my objective for the hotel. Get up to the top floor because the presidential suite features a world-class view of the peak. Gotcha. Okay, what's the trick here? Oh, bloody hell. So, 
massively evil rooms that need to be worked through and also is that oh that's just luggage is it i think that's just luggage yeah so everything here is evil i see i've got that we're actually in the evil room right now there's even little goat skulls in the background uh, right okay wait for that to go oh bloody hell bloody bloody hell okay and go and never mind right you know what, ladies and gentlemen, I think you get the point. This here is Celeste, and while I wouldn't necessarily have put it on my top 10 for the year, I will say, for what it is, one of those hardcore die a million time platformers, it's very well put together. It looks very, very nice indeed. I like the art style. The music is just absolutely flipping lovely. The rooms are challenging, but it feels fair. And it has that lovely quality where you die a lot the first few times, but every time you die, you feel like you're learning something so you can do it better next time. So it's got a really nice feeling of progression. And uh, yeah, it can be very creepy when it wants to be. Being pursued by evil Madeline was certainly a bit creepy and a bit tense. So... Okay, well done game. I can see why people like you and I like you too, though I wouldn't describe you as one of my top 10 of the year. So I'm very glad to actually have some time to go and have a little looksy back at Celeste here. Yeah, solid little game. If this is your sort of thing, well recommended, I would say. I'm glad we got to have a little glance at it. And who knows what will be next in our 2018 retrospective because there's still a lot of big stuff from 2018 I haven't actually looked back on, including arguably the big one, The Return of the Obra Dinn, which was many people's game of the year, and I've not played that one yet, so I will see if I can find some time to get around to that soon. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd, and this has been Celeste. Thank you very much, and goodbye. No, sadly, I cannot be the Santa Claus of murder tonight. So apparently, even though this thing is- Oh, no, no, you can't. No, you most certainly can't. Okay. Is that the symbol meaning I'm about to pull her over? Yep, there we are. There we- Oh! I feel like she didn't necessarily survive that. No, she's very dead.